Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 187 pounds. Fighting out of Brussels, Belgium, El Tigre. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry the music. A little single collar tie there. Continues to work out of that tie clinch. Gets the elbow up into the target. Big kick. Oh! These guys throwing early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. He's driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then land those beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on notice. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank at this 
thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the heads. Somebody's going to sleep. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And there's a nice elbow from the clinch. Boy, Ty Plus. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here. You gotta move. Nice kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he comes through with a big knee. And a miss with the right hook. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Shoot for the takedown here. Big punch lands through the middle. Man, look at, yeah, look at, oh! He's good pass. Oh, straight right. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Good right here. Oh, collar tie. Nice kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice punch there. That's a big hook. Ooh. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, he was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, spinning back to He didn't telegraph that one at all. And they separate. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's in something. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at him, yank the head, and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. That was a nice strike. Whiffs on the elbow. And he's back up. Oh, huge knee to the head. He got him. Knee to the body. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right hook to the body. Big leg kick land. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, second round underway. He is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Got the single collar tie. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. 
Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. You got to check these low leg kicks. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Punch position. Get the turtles in that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his elbows. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh, down. he might be out. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside and try to find space. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice loop and punch. Again, back into this position. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, now he's got... Whoa! What a fantastic... Wow. Back to the feet. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Wow! He's out! Oh! Woo! <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout Ireland. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by Knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.